Hey there, Natalie. I wanted to thank you. You have been an inspiration for me. I have actually started daily blogging, um, news items, um, because I saw that you were able to produce so many really, really good and interesting blogs uh, on YouTube. And I was watching your um, article today. I like using your articles. I put them inside my own blogs. Um, and I saw that you were interested in books. Now, I love books. And here are just a couple of titles which I think you'll get a great deal out of. I don't have my copy of Watership Down by Richard Adams. Every time I get a copy of Watership Downs, I give it away. And so I don't have a copy of it, but I really recommend it. Um, it's probably good to give to a person when they're in about year seven or eight. Um, and they don't appreciate how good it is then. Um, but I think it's, it's got some really good values in it that uh, people catch on later on. Joseph Heller's Catch-22 is a... Uh, let me see, how do I hold that for you? Um, is a great book and really, really funny, and, uh, but not one of the ones that I'm trying to tell you about. One of the ones I'm trying to tell you about is by the author James Branch Cabell. Now... Cabell wrote in the 1920s, and he wrote books like Jürgen, and he wrote another book called Figures of Earth. He was considered to be one of the greatest writers of the 20th century up until the middle of the 1950s, and then people forgot who he was. It really is worth checking out. Jürgen, you can see it, you can get it available, it's on the internet. Um, because it's so old, it's uh, now copyright free. Um, but you can also get, you know, fine versions like uh, this. I had to send for it overseas. It's got real juvenile kinds of, you know, sort of university kind of humor to do with sex and so on like that. But written in such a way that um, if a person were to pick it up and read it, they just wouldn't know. Um, but it is very, very funny. But he takes the, the humor and the storyline that he has in this and he kind of rewrites it. Um, he retells it in a you know, different way um, for figures of Earth. And this is one of the greatest stories ever told, and it's to do about love. It's, it's worth reading, I, and redemption. Um, I don't want to tell you anything more about it. It's fantasy, um, but um, there you have it. Now, this is uh, fiction, not fantasy, but R.F. Delderfield, um, who wrote Diana, and he also wrote another one called To Serve Them All My Days. Well worth checking out. And again, thank you very much for the inspiration that you've given me to go ahead and do some of the stuff that I wouldn't have done if you hadn't seen that somebody like you was doing that.